Hey guys, it's Jen again. I'm back with my Magnolia Design stencils and here I am stenciling a nice checked pattern on an R for my last name. Um, I chose not to paint this R. I got it at Walmart. It was tan and I thought it would look really cute as a buffalo check pattern with the tan in the background. So that's what I'm doing here. I missed a little spot. I had to go back, but it turned out really cute. Then I picked up this adorable bead wreath at Hobby Lobby. And again, I didn't really want to completely lose the natural wood look. So I did this, um, this technique where I take the paint, I'm using a red chalk paint here by Waverly, I think it's called Crimson, um, and I use my paintbrush and I paint many beads at a time and then I flip it around and get the other side. Basically what you end up with is the edges are still the original color and you can take sandpaper and kind of rough it a little more and it looks like you got worn paint and I just love that look. So we got that all done in red and um, went ahead and took my dryer and got it dry so I could begin decorating this wreath. I have this really really cute holly uh, ribbon. It's a burlap and it does have wired edges and I just um, hot glued it at the top around the beads brought it down and gave enough length so it would hang down below the bottom of the beads then I cut it off and I dovetailed the end if you don't know what a dovetail is this is an example dovetail right here alright so um, then I got my R and I wanted to put that right there securely in the middle um, and decided that hot glue will hold this okay because this R is not very heavy so I flipped it over on top of the R and began to hot glue. I did secure it really well with the hot glue. I uh, made sure basically that every spot it was touching, that the ribbon was touching, had glue on it to hold it down, including the very edges that were just barely touching something. Um, in the end, this really gave it a secure um, hold and, and I'm not having any trouble with it now. I did do a little boo-boo and I went ahead and glued my ribbon at the bottom on top of the beads but I meant to go behind the beads so you'll see me do that and fix that here in just a moment it wasn't a big deal just kind of flip the beads around and uh, put a little more glue on it but um, I really wanted the ribbon to go to sit behind the beads once it was hanging up and I kind of got confused with it flipped over so when I flip this over you'll be able to see where I kind of messed up so I've got it going over the beads at the bottom I took it off adjusted it, added a little more hot glue. I wanted that to go behind. Um, okay, so I needed to make a hanger for this and I decided to go with some uh, twine. It's a heavier duty twine. I clipped a little hole in the top of my ribbon and then I began to thread it through um, the ribbon and I basically wanted to end up going around the um, or in between the beads I should say. It was really easy to do. Finally I decided I'd take a little bit of raffia in the natural color make a pretty um, poofy bow for the bottom uh, right underneath the R. Um, sometimes I make small bows with raffia. This one I really wanted to scrunch up and, and get some volume in so I did that and then I ended up putting a pine cone right in the middle to kind of finish this off. This project was so quick, so easy. Magnolia Design stencils make it so easy to take something that you spend very little money on and create something amazing. So this is what's on my second front door. I hope you loved it. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.